so welcome back guys and uh, we're gonna be creating the uh, hair cars on the actual head now so this is our uh, very first hair card and what I like to do on this hair card is go to the edge mode and select the very uh, middle edge over here and drag this out a little bit and I want to go for this uh, a bit of curve kind of uh, thing for the hair card and I kind of believe that this uh, kind of feel for the hair card gives a bit of uh, volume in our final render so and after doing this I'm going to duplicate my hair card for laying them and I will want to make sure that I'm going to share my actual hair texture actual hair style that I'm that I worked on my character before like yeah this is the kind of the hair style like it's got uh, a lot of uh, wavy kind of feel and like there you can see a lot of smaller chunks of the waves on the hair now the references might differ on in your character but it's very important that you collect uh, enough images for the style that you're going for and I also want to show you with the thing that I did before like uh, notice uh, on the thing like how uh, high the row A is starting over here it's like uh, at the two-third or maybe like just a little bit more than the half at the uh, at the length of the ear and uh, make sure that I show you a single strand like how far it is actually from the neck here and I did this all only because uh, I wanted to create the volume like if I had them uh, absolutely close to the head something like this then it would have been really difficult for me to replicate the volume of the hair so I had to use this trick over here so I'm gonna unhide this all and hide this again so yeah let's start with uh, laying the first hair card and we're going to be doing only on the left side and on the right side we're going to be mirroring the left side over here uh, like once we're done with all at this side and we're going to be definitely going to be tweaking the mirror side because we of course we don't want them to be looking too much identical like it's uh, someone can easily say it's been mirrored so I'm going to bring this on the level of the hair that we want it to grow and now I'm going to rotate these vertices and grab the ones at the edges and I just want to make give it a feel like it's uh, growing from that skin of that skin and I hope you notice that uh, the hair texture that I did before the one that I showed before it's got a really nice curve that's the way it works in my hairstyle reference I'm trying to get the hair cards done as exactly at the half at the half of my head here and uh, if we need we can like press ctrl shift and right click for this floating menu and go to insert edge loop tool and add more loops as we need so that we can capture the actual curve that we're looking for And uh, creating hair cards is a very uh, time-consuming process that needs a lot of patience so like don't get frustrated like uh, if you're not getting the hair like exactly at your first or second tries like you have to make uh, numerous tries to get it done as the way you want it and since hair making is a very long and time-consuming process I might not be able to like demonstrate everything to you on this tutorial like I'll be I'll try my best to capture everything so that you can learn the most from what I learned 
what I've done here. So I'm gonna duplicate this. But yeah, I'm, I'll try my best to explain you everything as much as I could. Like even by sewing everything on the card that I've already already arranged. And I just duplicated this and I want to make sure that I'm going to use, uh, I, I'm using the other here, texture here so that it won't look too much repetitive. Then let's get with some tweakings. Our goal here is to lay the base hair card for the group A, for the row A, in such a way that it covers the scalp texture of the head as much as possible. Don't want them to be like overlapping too much, like it's happening right now. And you don't have to be too much locked in from right now, because you can always move your hair cards later also. Gonna duplicate this again, move it by the side, use a different hair texture so that we get the least of the repetition. Gonna move the vertices slightly to the side. And I see like this is like quite a bit far from the skin. Might get this a little bit. <coughs> Gonna move the whole chunk here. Sometimes you can even shrink the vertices at the bottom so that it gives a bit more pointed tips. And if you need, like you can add more loops here. Like I'm doing this for grabbing the curve that I'm looking for. Duplicate this again and go for the fourth hair card. Switch the texture. Gotta make these minor tweaks so that they don't look too identical. I'm also looking into my reference that I have on my second monitor. Constantly checking like if I'm going with the actual style that I'm going for or not. Gonna spread these a little bit. Like and uh, when you're doing the hair cards, the more time you spend, the better it gets. 
it's all those minor tweaks that, that makes your end result look really real at the at, at the last okay, I'm going for the fifth year car now I'm also going to switch the texture don't want the hair to be going all the way to the ear because uh, naturally it doesn't happen that way so I want to make sure that these hair parts are behaving naturally as much as possible It's better that we cover up all these kind of holes. I'm going to scale this a little bit. a bit more or maybe we can move this a little bit here I'm just trying to cover up these gaps that we are seeing here Make sure that we check it from all the sides, from all the angles. Okay, so we laid out row A for the base here cards. And uh, what we're going to do here is uh, these are the five year cards that we just laid here. I'm going to select all these and control G for grouping them and I'm going to name them A. Naming is quite really important at this point. So make sure that you're, you're going to be naming them all in, in a good way. So and what I'm going to do is I'm going to group them again. Because we're going to be creating uh, sub hair cards uh, for all these single groups again. So I want to make sure that these are named properly. And you can name it as your, your need, as like uh, your want, but make sure that you're organized. And I'm also going to name these main. Copy this. No, paste them all. Okay. So there we go. The base layer for the hair card A. And we're going to be continuing on the next video.